What's going on, folks? It's your guy, Ty Brown. I'm here today at the Brew Cafe with my guy, Jonathan. We're here in Soho. He has this beautiful pop-up. We're in the Brew Cafe. You know I gotta bring you guys something exclusive. You know, uh, that's what my watch lifestyle do. We bring you exclusive stuff, right? Met this guy a few years ago. We both kind of like, we grew together in this industry. Right, you know, he was starting watches, I was just starting my watch lifestyle. So, um, I'm here today, you know, I actually have one. You know, I'm, a, I'm a big brew fan. Um, we just want to talk to him today, find out what's going on here at the pop up, what he got going on. You know, just a, a few things about my main man here. So, uh, stay tuned, we'll be right back at you. We're back, NYC, Soho, down here on Green Street. The uh, pop up brew. If you have, if you're in the New York area, stop by. So there you got my guy Jonathan. Man. He make these beautiful brew watches. Uh, but I'm always interested. I need to know. I mean, the watch is cool. We're gonna get to that in a minute. Like, where'd you come from? How did you even start watches? Cause we're crazy. How did you start become a watch maker, watch designer? How did you even start? That? Yeah, that's a good question. You know, I studied design at school, uh, not knowing where exactly I was going to land. And then uh, I got my feet wet at Mavada right out of school. And from Mavada to the next brand and to the next brand. And meeting folks like yourself really got me hooked into the industry. And now this is almost 10 years later, fast forward, and I haven't gotten tired of anything. I've just gotten more hooked into the industry because it's just like, changing constantly, new innovations, new brands, new people that keeps it interesting and I can't get enough of it. So, you know, I'm doing brew, but if it wasn't for brew, just the watch industry in itself is it just keeps me coming back for more. It's interesting, brew. Like when I think of brew, I think of two things. I think of coffee and I think of beer. <laughs> yep. So, yep. so uh, it's an interesting name. Is it? How, what was the inspiration behind it? The name is Brew. Yeah, it's a great question. Uh, right when I was working for other companies, freelancing, I was designing at the cafes in the city. So I'm designing, I'm at the cafes, and I noticed that other people were enjoying their time there. And I said to myself, if I had one chance to do my own brand in a way that was personal to me, but was also done in a way that other people could relate to, that might be something significant. Lo and behold, Brew came out, and I used espresso machines as subtle inspiration uh, references. And then it's all about your time over coffee with friends, dating, girlfriend, significant others, and, and just something special that people could connect with. Mm -hmm. So that's what Brew is really about. Uh, it's funny, I was somebody gave your watch a perfect name. I was at a, um, uh, uh, I was at a meetup. And someone said it's the perfect modern vintage watch. Vintage modern. I mean, and it does have that classic man, classic person feel to it. Um, what was the inspiration behind it? Like this style and watch. Like, uh, you know, just tell us about a couple of the watches. Because I have a retro man that yeah. I love. So. Yeah, for me as a designer, I, I thought of splitting it into two ways one part familiar and then one part unique. And so I thought if I could really hit that nostalgic design cue with these vintage silhouettes, and bracelet and styling, that could be the great part that's familiar. But the unique part was the espresso machine details, the industrial cues that wouldn't be seen anywhere else. And I thought if I could just mesh these together in a way that was well balanced, that could be something significant that would be your modern vintage mix together. Yeah, like, I mean, they're just great pieces. I, I love them. Now, it's funny that your name is Brew, and now you actually have your own blend of coffee. People don't know, it's not just a watch company. The man actually went out and said, you know what, I'm just be so innovative. You can drink coffee when you get a Brew watch. So, tell us about the coffee. What's the uh, inspiration? What's the flavors? You know, where you get your beans from, how they how they work, how you come up with the coffee. Yeah, so the coffee was something I wanted to be special for this event in particular. Uh, so roasted out in Brooklyn at Holy Collective with a company called Happy Day Moto. And what was special about this was making something that people could come to the event, um, 
and then have something to take home. Mm -hmm. You know, because when you go to these events, it's special because you're meeting the founder, the designer, you're getting the full ethos of the brand. And brew is really wrapped around your time over coffee. Uh, so I went quite literal with allowing folks to come here, take a coffee, which is a Brazilian blend, uh, medium dark roast, that they could enjoy on their own time. So you're really having the full experience at the event and then bringing it back home on your own time to enjoy too. I like that. So you can get your watch and then you can sit out on your balcony and get you some fresh brewed coffee from Brew. Brew watch, brew coffee. Man, it's just a brew thing. <laughs> you had so many, as so many it comes out with these watch styles and bring out limited editions. You know, they sell out so fast. And, you know, it's almost like a cult following. Um, you know, what do you have up next for Brew? Like, what's the new? Hottest watch exclusive. You gotta give it to my watch lifestyle. That's what we want. Exclusiveness. What you got for us? So recently, uh, literally right now on the wrist, I have a new brew chronograph. Uh, this one I call the Metric. exclusive. Hold on, wait a minute. Get it. Get, come in. Come in. Come in. My camera guy, come in. Look at that. Look at that. Exclusive. This is the brew metric. And what's special about this is. I wanted to build a utilitarian retro tool watch that could be worn, dressed up, but still serves a significant purpose of telling time and, and uh, tracking time over elapsed periods. So if you see the 60 minute counter, it's broken into increments that you can easily see at a glance. But you also have your chrono if you're interested to track a shot of espresso. It has a little zone for 25 to 35. And you can see, okay, I'm at that spot. Um, but whatever that user is interested in tracking, this is like that ultimate watch. Um, thin profile, but dressy because of all the brushed and polished planes that really give it a higher end appeal. I like it. So, you've seen it here. First, exclusive, my watch lifestyle exclusive. We debuted the new watch. I, you know, I wanted it, I wanted it. No one has it, but at least you can see it here on my watch lifestyle again. Check it out, Brew Instagram, get you some coffee. If you can get one of these cool watches, you know, um, pick one up, you know, signing off. We'd be somewhere else, another city, another country, my watch lifestyle. Jonathan, always a pleasure, my buddy. Thank you, Ty. See y'all next. We out.